Good morning. Right, day one of my lockdown. And I'm parked on the side of the road. I got half a mile from work. Um, and my gearbox has gone, I think. Uh, she's making noises and locking up. Lucky enough, I'll spin you around in a minute. I got it to the side of the road, but literally I've only just come down away from work. So this is where I am on a little narrow road. Lucky enough, as I got to the bottom of the road, spun round and got it back up here. But she's not very well, bless her. Um, gearbox is grinding. And there's no leaks, no nothing. I mean, it could be a case of maybe there's no oil. Um, I don't know if it's like the transfer box or the main gearbox. Um, I can't get it out of first gear at the moment. Um, it's sort of stuck in first gear. I can just barely move it. It's like as if it's... I've just literally got, you know, moved it to the side bit, but she's almost locked solid. So I don't know why. Absolutely no idea. It's not made a noise, never made any issues. Always been smooth in the gears. It could be most some of the most simplest thing, but it could be a complete new gearbox I need. <sighs> right bang when I needed tyres as well. So hopefully I've got the money spare. I was going to buy tyres with, but if I get my truck MOT'd in January, <laughs> with the before the new law comes in in February. And then it'll give me another year to save up to get all that done because the gearbox is going to cost a fair old whack a bet. So yeah, I was literally just off into town, pick up a couple of items and then go to my park up. Uh, I'm actually on holiday as well, so I've got to move from work. Uh, I've got like 10 or so days, so I'm living in getting towed to RCs on the way out and I'll be getting towed half a mile up the road to the garage. Um, who does all my work and I'll be living in his car park as security <laughs> hopefully he'll give me a nice discount <laughs> um, so yeah uh, I'll give you some updates when we can, RAC and everyone gets here but bless her, poor old Millie and there's little Roxy there oh she says I want to go on holidays uh, it's not holidays, it's just not working but yeah as you can see I'm on call as well. Um, I was, all my holidays, I was going to literally stay on call. Um, just in the area, not leaving Lincolnshire. Just, I'm being with um, LCAT as an emergency response um, for the COVID-19 we're on. So, but yeah, I'm going to have to let them know the news. Gutted. Right, see you in a bit, guys. Hey, welcome back. Right, update. RAC. <laughs> Um just waiting for the low loader or truck to take me. I need to go 500 yards up the road. Um, so I'm going to be camping all weekend at the um, East Coast Commercials. Um, there's a spot there for me to park up. They've said help yourself to water. There's a tap there. Um, so yeah, that's you can't really look at it until Monday. Now we've had, I've been on to me forums, all the groups, posted on there and I've been getting loads of info so any you know any of you guys on the daft club you know cheers you know that's what the group's about um it was just a weird thing I, I can't pinpoint what the problem is it's I think it's something in the gearbox but obviously four-wheel drive systems new to me um I've had a problem before when I first got the truck with um with it winding up on the axles um but yeah it was totally different to that incident before um i drove nearly 10 miles without making a noise couldn't disengage um the, the sort of the lockers so the diff locks because they locked on um it's totally different so this was it, i can't select gears the gears are gone but the RAC guy, he's had a good look and funny enough knows knows my family and everything. He used to actually go to school with one of my um, uh, uncles. <laughs> so he had a good look and he thinks it's actually the gear selector. Now on the splicers going in, he reckons some things maybe come a jar, come fallen off, trapped, could be something in there. And he thinks when you're trying to change gear, it's trying to pull two gears at once or catching another so you get it into gear but then it's pulling another one it's just odd 
very strange. It, it, I've had it into a gear and you try and pull with it and it's like as if it's just weird. It's like your gearbox is knackered. Um, but then I can get it into fourth and fifth and it's fine. So it's on the lower gears. So maybe there's a problem with number two gear, but I can't get it into any other gear at the moment. It's It's got it back out into neutral. Um, but fourth and fifth it will, but obviously I'm on a hill so I can't move but it you know i've tried it with a clutch in only a quick few seconds but yeah it, no noise or anything so hopefully fingers crossed it's just something sim simple like a select a problem um that's about all it won't be till monday they can have a look so in the meantime i'll get the cab off and um, i might even strip it down and get it off for them you know i don't know we'll have a look um so yeah that's my Lockdown started well, fully enough. When was the last lockdown and what happened? Yeah, I was on a low loader. I think this lockdowns is a pattern going. Um, I hope we don't get any more third lockdowns because I don't like being on these low loaders. So that's about it for now. I'm still stuck at the side of the road. Um, it's been a good few hours now. Um, so yeah, just waiting for Galloway to come in. Hopefully they're bringing the right truck because between me and the REC, we've explained everything about the truck. It's wider than normal. It's a 4x4. I mean, as soon as Galloway's phoned me, they said it was a DAF 45. Is it a horse box? No, you've got the information. We've done it, you know. So no, it's a 4x4. And it, oh, well, oh, right. And I've explained it needed a low loader because you I can't remember the name for it. They, they pick them up, Spicer or something. Um, it's like a, a bar on the back that picks them up. And then they've disconnected the diffs and stuff like that. Um, the props. And they couldn't fit it on the last one when I broke down before. And they had to send out a low loader. So I've told them that. So let's see what comes. I bet you it's not a low loader. I can guarantee it. So that's it really. for. Um, we've got a special appearance of my oldest lad today. He's coming to stay over. I was supposed to be picking him up at nine o'clock this morning. Yeah, we're now quarter past two. <laughs> so, yeah, it's been a long day. Um, yeah, I didn't realise it's been that long, actually. Yeah, it was... What was it? It's just gone nine, half nine, I broke down. Hmm. Great. So, yeah, that's about it. Get moved, get parked up, get some tea on. And we'll see what next week brings. So, hopefully, um, we can get back on the road. Uh, I was supposed to be meeting up with somebody at one of my local spots. Um, she's new to van life. She's two weeks. I think she said she's just into full time. And she's, you know, a little bit worried. She, she was coming to this area. She's Lincolnshire based. And she knew about sort of my soul fleet spot, so I said I'll, I'll meet you up there and you know, uh, and sort of just a bit of extra, you know, moral support when there's a few years together, so just to help. Um, so yeah, she I've told her can't come, so we'll see if she's around next week. So that's about it now, we'll leave it there, just sort of give you an update. Uh, I'll do another one when we get parked up and. Leave it there. Right, guys. Here we go. Gala Woods are here now. Uh, what are we at? Just gone three o'clock, so we've been here since 9.30. So, yeah, he thinks he knows what he's doing. So, getting it up on the blocks, on that ramp. I know the last guy couldn't do them, so he didn't have big enough brackets, I think, on his truck. So, hopefully, we don't need to wait another few hours for a low loader. All for 500 yards up the road. Right. See you in a bit. So we got an update. Half shafts won't come out and the prop shaft won't come off. <laughs> First try the prop shaft because you need that off to tow. It's on solid. Half shafts solid. So looks like another trick. Right, here's the update. We've got a low loader now. He's going to come and uh, winch us on, take us up the road. Um, yeah, we've had just problems with getting all the bits off, so 
We're going to block the road off now and have some fun. Oh, it doesn't look pretty with all the Christmas lights. <laughs> so we've got the big boy trailer here now. Morning everyone. Thanks for everyone's uh, replies yesterday from Millie till the uh, breakdown. Uh, everything's well, uh, well, except for Millie. Just one of them things that's life, unfortunately. I mean, you know, what you got to remember is I'm in a 29-year-old truck. There's going to be odd little things going wrong with her. Um, I'm hoping it's just a clutch. Um, it's sounding like now, when I put the clutch in, it goes quiet. When you lift it off, the truck's vibrating, juddering, um, and I think... The RC guy was saying it's trying to grab two gears at once when you're trying to put it into gear. So obviously the you know the thrust bearings collapse and stuff like that. I mean you still can get a clutch. Your clutch is still working, but obviously everything around it's disintegrated. So it might be just that. Everyone seems to think you know a lot of the you know the daft boys you know these are tough old um, gearboxes. Not saying it can't happen. Um, and as for oils and stuff, I obviously I was booked in, and it's, that's the annoying bit. It's booked in um, to have everything done. I wanted everything done. Um, it was going to get done this year. I've been all the oils taken out, refreshed, renewed. Just been so busy trying to sort out tyres and stuff. So, yes, yeah, so we got parked up here. It's about nine hours in total. So I got to my garage, which was about 500 yards away. Bless them. So you've seen them in some of the other videos, and um, they're brilliant guys. So lucky enough, I'm on holiday now for 10 days, so it um, looks like I'm going to show you my view <laughs> of reality van life, of where most of us spend the time. So, so oh, come on, Rux, you can come out as well. So welcome to reality of van life. Oh, look, lovely sprite yard. And that's where we're going, Monday morning, across the road. Just shut up a minute and take the dog for a walk. Let's get some stickers while I'm here. But yeah, reality. In a compound. There she is, bless her. So I'm going to have a little play with her today and just see if I can, as a few guys have given me some uh, little tips. Um, like putting the checking the transfer box, see if that's any damaged or not. Um, there's little tips for that, so I'm gonna do little things like that today and just see if you know I can narrow it down. You know, I'm hoping it's the clutch, I think it's the clutch. I've had a few clutches go on me in the past. Um, it was just a scary bit where it locked my wheels up, very odd. But, you know, talk to a few people, like um, the RSC guy says he's known it, especially in four befores, um, where gearboxes try to select two at once. If it's not grabbing them right, and he's because he, he thought maybe selectors in the top of the box is like a little bit on the top, maybe gone. And it was um, engaging, trying to engage two at a time. So I've only got like a couple of gears, um, but I can get them into, like a, to get it where it is now, I've got it into reverse just and I got it into a second gear so they are, I can get the gears just but not all the time fourth and fifth was working fine we can go into them so yeah we'll just have to see if it needs a new box it needs a box if it needs a clutch it needs a clutch we'll just replace the lot so make can do about it it's an house when you have an house you've got the same things to do there so I've got two pins caravans next to me might go and pop in and see what goodies they've got <laughs> in the shop. Oh, I don't know if they'll be open, actually. Right, I'll leave it there, and we'll probably be back tomorrow. Unless I do some jobs on it today. So it might be just a, a vlog about breaking down this one. See you later, guys. So I've decided to have a, a late dinner full fry up. Bugger it. I haven't had one long time. So we've got the telly on. We've got new telly, 12 volt in the front now. Watching YouTube, I think we've got Darren, um, the motor, um, Urban Motor Home we're on at the moment in Scotland. 
We've got loads of ketchup buns. We've got toast, bacon, beans, wrap pudding, sausages, Woo! mushrooms, a bit of it, corn, beef, eggs. Chuck the lot in. Because uh, I don't know, I'm thinking about it, if I'm going to be in the truck. Um, I thought I'd use some of the stuff that was opened. I had a good old whiskey last night. Um, caught up on my sleep because obviously I was doing night shifts. So it was up about 10. Poor dog was looking at me going, please, please. So yeah, just having a clear up. I'm just thinking I might have to stay with a family member or something. I'm just thinking if the truck goes in, once it's inside the, the unit, um, and we can't push it in or push it out, it's not like a car, might not be allowed to stay. I don't know. We'll, we'll cross that bridge tomorrow. I have got a couple of options. I can go to my mum's, um, but she's sort of shielding. I'd rather not to if I can help it, but we will see. But if not, let's get a tent. Come back outside. <laughs> we'll sort it out. But yeah, this is a, a bit of a reality for a lot of van lifers or anyone really. You've got to have a sort of a backup plan. Uh, I've got a few options, I mean, you know, but Covid ruins it all out. It's like you can't just go to a bed and breakfast store, something like that, because we're all short. Campsite, short, you know, everything's short. Um, so yeah, this is, you've only got to rely on family and friends really, but then you really allowed these certain bubbles. So what do we do? Do I ring the council and go, I'm homeless, can you put me up? <laughs> so yeah, it's something to think about. Um, I'm going to have a think today and just work out the options. Um, and see, go from there. I mean, I've got, I can even bloody go and stay at work and sleep on a the sofa there. So, you know, it's shut while it would be open. But, um, yeah, I've got options. But, yeah, people need to think that if you do have a breakdown, um, you know, how long, you know, is it going to be? Because I don't know what the problem is just yet, so it's going to be at least two or three, it's going to be three days, I reckon, max, if it's just an easy fix, because they've got to order the parts, so they'll order on Monday, and look at the truck, order on Monday, they'll come possibly Tuesday or Wednesday, depending on when they order on Monday, because if, if they can't get next day delivery, it'll yeah, probably Tuesday, so, you know, and then it, that's if they've got time to fit, oops, block in. so... We'll do some planning today and let you know how we get on. But yeah, I'm gonna cook this lot up now. I'm sorting the washing out as well. I don't know if you sound. Just sorting out. Wash machine's about to go on. So while I'm parked up, get that done. So the place is a tip at the moment. Uh, new brackets have arrived for me bike rack. So I might try and get that all fitted while I'm parked up this week. And then uh, we'll get back to you. Right, see you later. Right, back again. I thought I'd just uh, address a couple of questions. Um, people have asked me about the wash machine before in the past. Um, now I use one of these. Um, if you get a good view of how it is. Um, it's supposed to be for about six kilos, this one. This, is, this one's a leisure wise. Um, so you've got your full wash in there. And then that's your spin dryer. That's fantastic. Put soaking wet clothes in there, spins it, and it, literally you've got like 15 minute wash and a sort of a five minute spin. Uh, you can go less if you want. But 200 and I think this one's 240 watts to run the washing machine. And then when you put that one on, that's the spin dryer is 120 watts. So obviously, you, I mean, I have them running both at the same time, even it's fine. Um, on my pack, uh, battery pack, but um, yeah, um, and literally what I do is I use my shower room. So it's basically sat in there, it's just sat above the thing. There's the drain pipe. So all I do is literally, when I finished, I pop that to drain. I drop that into the floor, and um, it just soaks away straight down the, into my tanks. Easy as that. Um, I could put it out here, but. Just in case there's any leaks, 
it's better to be in there in the shower room and then when I finish it just goes tucks upside there there's a board I use um, custom made I lay that into the bottom makes the floor like a false floor and then I put the rubbish bin in here washing machine goes in there and it's like a storage room as well because who wants a shower room doing absolutely nothing except for a shower you know every few days you, you need to utilize that space so a bit of junk at the moment but you know I've got everything I need in there and the clothes up in here and I've just actually got from our guest yesterday a uh, gonna try it out today oh can't get in there just got a clothes area for 15 quid um, it's a better one than the last one I had on my boat because it didn't have all these plates. And when you folded it out, it fell to bits. But yeah, it's uh, there you go, you can see a better picture. So, gonna try that for me. And then instead of because I normally used to just hang stuff all around the all around the place, so I used to hang it on the doors and everywhere on you know, all around on them hooks, I used to pop them open, hang trousers and stuff to dry. But yeah, we're just gonna move the dog bowl, everything, stand it in there. And later to dry. I don't need to be in there, so we will give that a go. But yeah, for just thought, you know, anyone, you know, a wash. I can't. I can't live without a washing machine. It's absolutely amazing. Um, I mean, what I do is because the family, all my bedding, because it's king size, it's no good in that. It's too big. So I just do that. Either go to my sister's or my mum's and just drop that um, bedding off. I do that sort of every so often and um, just take i've got like whole i've got about four sets so i rotate it all and then take them a couple of sets at a time and uh yeah so just thought that would be interesting I've, i have done a video with it in before but i still get people asking questions about my washing machine so and uh, i mean like i know there's one in my town now for sale for 40 quid i paid 40 quid for that one they're about 100 quid new on ebay but cracking little design really um for van life if you can get got room to put one and you're full time imagine how much it's going to save you um i mean i know a lot of people do hand hand wash but i know like a few like liam and stuff they go to them washes um at car stations and stuff about 18 pound a time mm, soon works up a year so but not everyone's got the room unfortunately so yeah, check them out if you're looking in the market for one of these. You can get a bit smaller one, you can get even half the size, but they're like a, just a single wash one. There's loads. Go on eBay, type in portable wash machines, and there's loads. Okie doke, see you later. Good morning. Right, so it's Monday, we're at the garage. Um, they've had a little look. I'm just waiting to get moved across to the garage, because um, we're in the car park they don't think it's the clutch um even though the clutch release bearings making a bit of noise so we're gonna i think we're gonna replace the clutch anyway um i've got a, a few good prices um online so yeah what was it about sort of 300 quid with vat and postage so i think while the box is off it's just wise just to get it done now it's a, so yeah they think it might possibly be internal or the selectors um, he, they're not sure it's the you know clutch but anyway the beauty about this garage I'm at for any other full timers um, in lorries especially lorries they'll even do vans um, they, they used to do my old transit um, is they can offer facility for you to stay outside and they can work on your truck outside um, instead of taking you in the garage and of course once your truck's in the garage you can't work on them you know you can't stay in them so it's a good spot I mean we're in Lincolnshire uh, it's Louth Lincolnshire um, but you know super handy you know because you've got to think of these ideas when you go full time is what happens when you break down this is why I chose this garage um, because they help and they even said there's a tap outside help yourself with water um, I mean, I think if you really ask nicely, they'll probably joke you up with a lead. Um, you know, just give them a bit extra for a bit of electric or something. But yeah, I'll spin you around and I'll show you what they've got for outside for working on your trucks. It's pretty cool. They're just just in the middle of washing a truck at the moment and getting it ready for an MOT. 
but uh, yeah, this is what they're now. Got some cool mobile ramps. So that's where my truck's going to. It's going to go on to that spot there, and uh, they can get it up and they can work on it outside. So it calls out, and then obviously there's the big garage. And that's like another one to get done. So yeah, parking over there. That's where they're going to park me, and then they can work on my truck. Obviously, they're going to be up on the ramps probably. So I'm just going to walk into town. Literally, town centre is 10-15 minute walk. Um, there's a 24-hour spa shop just up the road. Um, you've got Halfords. It's all industrial estate, so you've got B&Q, Halfords, all sorts, all open here. Um, you've got an Aldi just down the road. Everything's walking distance. Um, literally five ten minutes so you know it's cracking little spot for anyone who's needs the truck taken anywhere especially lorries uh, and these guys are really you know they're really good on price as well um, they're not like silly price per hour um, they've always looked after me um, so yeah I'll uh, do a bit more filming and get up on the truck but yeah, this vlog, sorry it's going to be a bit of a boring breakdown vlog, but uh, it's just free content, <laughs> you know, and part of what can I film? Um, as you know, my channel's not all about fancy this and fancy drone shot. It's a life story, so, you know, for me and the kids, so this is part of our story, you know, breaking down. Um, just one of them things, it's an old truck, you know, nothing can be done about it. Things are going to break um, slowly as I'm using it. This is the whole point of doing it UK first. I can iron out all these little problems. So things like clutches and stuff. I know from our DAF group they've said they can just they just go. No warning. There's quite a few people in the last this year of theirs have just gone. Um, so it's always a handy one to have a spare one um, on your truck then if you're in a different country and like that you can get one fitted and you've got the part so but it doesn't seem to be a part what's hard to get so that's one good thing um but yeah i thought well i'll, I'll share this garage because it's a cracking garage for van lifers who need work and need to stay in the truck like myself so they're happy they, they don't mind um so yeah we'll catch you up in a bit guys not sounding very good. And if you could hear that knocking and squeaking. There she is. Worked outside. Still investigating what it is, but it sounds like a bag of spanners in there. But you think it could even be prop shafts problems, or even. Right, so we've got a verdict what the problem was. It's the gearbox. <laughs> It's good put. Um, haven't checked, they haven't got it, um, took it off yet. Um, just been the day getting the parts ordered. So, yeah, thrust bearing as well is making lots of noise. So, we've decided to just go full belt. We're just going to get foot, um, a gearbox and new clutch, fit it all, complete oil change, everything, hubs, transfer box, everything. Make sure everything's fresh oil. Um, can't find any faults with the gearbox. It, there's oil in it. Um, something's just dropped inside it. Um, some some bearing or something's collapsed. Um, and obviously that's what's doing it. I think mainly in, it could be a second gear because I think second was when I was in it at the time. So when it locked. So yeah. So that's the verdict on old Millie. Um, a bit of good luck. I mean, looking off, I had a little bit of an extra pop 
you know, for this disaster. Um, I did keep some back from the original build. Not a lot. <laughs> There's only, a few, you know, sort of about a thousand or so. But I've tracked down through Crouch Recovery, who are specialists for the DAFs, um, rang them up. Um, already got a quote for 450 plus fat for a, a, a gearbox, second hand gearbox. Um, but they did say, because um, looking off, my garage is an agent for Crouch um, for work and stuff for collections. And so he rang him, and looking off in the back stores is a brand spanking new DAF gearbox for got it uh, for 100 quid more. <laughs> It's still brand new in crate. It's a, it, it, well, I say brand new. It's brand new um, army built. It was it had a problem apparently uh, paperwork and all that. But it's still with a crate. Um, the army totally rebuilt it to brand new spec, reboxed it, and it was what was being put in their stores again to be used. Um, and obviously they have bought old stock, and it, that's what I've got. So I've got a brand basic brand new gearbox. You know, yeah, it's cost me six hundred odd quid. But if I went and bought a two, three hundred quid second hand gearbox um, off eBay, I ain't got a clue if it's going to last. I've had that, I've done this before. So the option was there for a brand new one. It's just, just get it. It's just, you know, with these trucks, you know, hopefully that's going to be a cracking, you know, gearbox. Uh, clutch went with Clutch, uh, clutch Fix Limited. He's been amazing, done me an amazing deal. Um, so we've got sort of a bit, you know, better upgraded clutch all custom it's all hand built in house um so he's getting on today he's rushing it for me um bless him he was lovely um i mentioned about obviously i'm trapped outside their garage and obviously you know taking up their space but he says i'll get on to it i'll start it today and ship it out tomorrow for you so you know amazing you know that's uh they because they've come highly recommended through a lot of uh the daft boys on the group um, for these trucks and they do every clutch they do loads so check them out i've said i'll give them a, a good uh shout out on youtube and i'll put links in description um and stuff like that because if any company you know does me some good then i'll always you know sort of promote and help you know wherever i can it's you know a little bit of payback it helps especially with this coronavirus killing off businesses so you know everyone needs to help each other so yeah, so that's me for tonight. Tuk tuk outside. Um, not doing any work on the truck tomorrow, so I'm going to get on with some little jobs myself. And the boys are going to be getting it back over to the garage on them lovely ramps. They're awesome. They've got a, a bin lorry out there at the moment. Um, it's on the ramps getting steam cleaned. So they're awesome ramps. So they can look after any full timer. Um, he says, yeah, just give me a ring. Um, you can book it in. They'll make sure there's a spot outside. If they need the ramps, they just bring them out of the garage, and they just, you know, get under your wheels and just lift you up. Um, so yeah, I think the truck what's out there. I mean, a bin lorry's got to be 12 ton, um, easy. So, but yeah, it'll cater for any any uh, uh, you know overlander um, vans. Doesn't matter. They they, they can do it all. Um, so yeah, cracking lads, and uh, yeah, happy to help out. They, they love it. They love Millie, um, and working on something different because they're so used to just dealing with old, you know, modern sort of stuff, and lots of horse boxes they get here. So it's something different. So yeah, that's the update for now. Um, probably the next update will be when it all comes, all the parts. So I've got a gearbox coming tomorrow. Clutch will be getting sent tomorrow, but coming Wednesday, and they're just going to fit it all just Wednesday, just do it all Wednesday. So that's about it for today. Um, I'm going to get some tea on. Don't know what I'm going to have, but we'll have something. Right, see you later, guys. All right, so we just had a delivery. Here it comes, all in its crate. Got a brand new, fully rebuilt. Gearbox. So, so there we go. So we're giving it a clean now. <laughs> well, we got 
in our hoof. So yeah, hopefully that will sort us out. Contains no Well, it's all getting redone anyway. There you go. Right, just an update guys. Um, I didn't actually get any footage of <laughs> the truck being finished. Obviously you've just seen the gearbox. Um, it was in the box, so I thought I'll explain. Um, basically, we got the delivery of the gearbox that come basically next day. Fantastic from Crouch. Um, it was only a few days later, we was waiting for the clutch. And a few days later, we was just about to organise getting the truck done on the Wednesday, I think, we was going to get it in. And we noticed the gearbox, what we got sent. It's a bit of a lemon, unfortunately. Um, there some bolts missing, there was a crack, um, and all the gears had jammed and um, wasn't working. We couldn't get into it. Lucky enough, we hadn't stripped mine and you know, all the slots. So, um, got straight on the phone. Crouch were fantastic, um, really apologetic. They didn't know, they bought it from auction with paperwork and they expected it to be what it was because they got it from another um, company with them. Uh, which are a big MOD specialist, so everyone thought the same. So, you know, well, just one of them things, you know, someone just got past it, just got messed up. So, yeah, so it was just a case of they shipped out another gearbox, they went and found a good one, made sure it was working for me, bless them, um, got it in the garage and shipped it next day. So it was Friday we got it in. Um, for the thing, it was about a six hour job in total we had it done um, so yeah, brilliant um, I'm back on the road so yeah, I've just been going through the footage and I thought I'd filmed the last sort of bit but I missed, I um, obviously didn't um, so this is just this bit and then I'll carry on this will be the end of this bit so you know I'm back on the road <laughs> Millie's Brilliant, and I tell you what, that gearbox, original gearbox, must have been going since I had this truck, because I can't believe how quiet my, on just on tick over, on driving, it's just it's it's hard to explain. I couldn't hear any noise before with the old gearbox, but there must have been some sort of, I don't know, a hidden noise there or something because it's so quiet now. It's unreal. It's like really, it's like a new truck. Um, the clutch was fine um, on the old one, um, stripped it, looked really good. I mean, the truck's only got a very low mileage, so I'm going to keep that as a spare. The garage is going to strip the gearbox, the old one, and find out what the problem was. Um, he thinks it's some sort of bearing or something's got to collapse inside. Um, but yeah, you can't even turn it by hand, it, even in neutral. It's just, you can feel it, it's just horrible. So, yeah, so this is just sort of the end of the video, unfortunately. Um, sorry it's been so long. It's just one of them things. Like I say, it, you know, my videos are a diary. Um, so, sorry it's a bit long and boring. But uh, that's, you know, reality, unfortunately. Um, so, I will stop waffling and we'll start the fresh videos off. It'll be the following week um, where I get... I finally get out with Millie that weekend so and currently I'm back at work now so parked up so yeah the next video will be sort of a part of that weekend and the following weekend so I don't know where I'm going next week but yeah so just to let you know guys all back on the road all fixed um, and running smooth as anything now so hopefully she'll be better got lost a lot of little jobs and I'm still looking for tyres still got to look for tyres yet but we'll get there so thanks a lot guys sorry for it's been so long but uh, the next one will be a bit shorter okay cheers now bye